What's going on guys and welcome to another video where this is a pretty exciting video for me because I always think that these make a huge difference and I believe that they'll make a difference on any of you guys if you have a pre facelift S38P this is definitely the mod to go for. So of course it's another sunny day in England absolutely lovely weather outside and we've gone ahead and we've got the nice facelift rear lights to go on to get rid of these ugly pre facelift lights um, and if you guys haven't seen I did not want to um, go ahead and make a video on it because I've already made a video on it but we've gone ahead and painted the S3 wheels like these actually came out so much better than the originals that were on this car that I made a video on 10 times better I'll go ahead and wax some pictures up for you guys of what taken now and uh it just looks so much better, like in every angle. It's definitely what the car needed just to, especially when it was done, it actually like looks like my car. Like it doesn't look like a standard S3 anymore, which is completely what I wanted. And even better, we've got the lights today. So we're gonna go ahead, put these on, um, as well as I'll show you guys. I'm gonna replace the grommets, which basically these lights are held in with grommets that are like two grommets here. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to replace them uh, the best way and just the best possible outcome from the replacing them really because sometimes when you're putting these lights in you can push the grommets in and they fall into the car and unfortunately you can't get them back like even on this one where I've completely stripped it I've still not found one that I have pushed in before um, so yeah once they're in there they're long gone so I'm gonna go ahead and get these lights out it's very very simple You've got this little hole here and you just put either a 13 mil socket over the plastic nut or you can use a flathead just to take that out. And then once you've got that out, it's literally super easy just pulling from this side to pull the two pins that are inside grommets. I'll show you guys in the video um, and then the whole light comes out. So I'll go, go ahead and give this a, a try just one handed, but this is the plastic nut that goes in there and just screws onto a thread as you can see i've used a flathead screwdriver just to untake that out so once that out literally all you gotta do is come here and just pull it like that and it's all come out already and then once it's out you can see there's the thread that the nut goes onto there's the two pins and these are the two grommets i'm talking about so these if you get this right wrong you can push them in and once they're in they're forever gone so I'm going to head and undo this pin, it's very simple, you just want to push that pin down and pull and then once it's out, it's done. Okay, so I've got the light out, this is the um, another set of lights which I did not fit because these aren't the right ones. Um, this is basically, there's like a preface, this is for the preface S, uh, A3s and I wanted an S3 preface lights, so I've uh, gone ahead and sold them ones and then bought the correct ones so what you want to do guys is get all the bulbs out your carriers um because them carriers will not fit um sorry this carrier will not fit in the new lights because they're slightly different bulbs so i'll go ahead and show you guys once i get this one out but it's very simple pull these clips back and just literally that will start coming out you get the other side as well but uh so there we go super easy you literally just pull these pins back uh, both at a time and then pull the casing back and you'll see it comes out very very easy um, So I'll go ahead and link you guys in the description to this LED bulb super bright reverse light um, You can see a lot more at night or what's behind you. Uh, it's just a definitely like a cheap Little upgrade and it makes a lot of difference. It looks a lot smarter as well. So uh, Yeah, go ahead take all these bulbs out. I believe this one might be different for the new set, but I'll go ahead and cover that in the video once I get these lights out and I'll show you guys. So as you guys can probably tell the difference, this is the A3, so like there's just cherry red. And then with the S3 facelifts, it actually comes with a nice tint around the back and it just looks so much more tidier. And you can already see like that's so much darker compared to them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, get these bulbs out. Bulb, this is a bulb carrier, so it's brand new bulb carrier, so that's even better. So this seal will be brand new in there. Um, and then uh, I'll show you what bulbs that these ones take. Okay guys, so this is the new cluster. 
and this is the old cluster so basically the only difference is this top bulb is um instead of being a normal round bulb like this like that um it's actually like a interior light one which i've got one here and it is canvas so it's uh no errors or anything like that um i've changed it to led because you know why not um i'm gonna head and see what it looks like when it's actually in the light if it's too white because obviously these are meant to be red if it's too like white then i'll just change it back to the original because these are normally yellow uh, we'll see how it is um and then the rest of it is basically ready to go in the car now uh, i've tested it make sure you guys put the clusters in test it before you put everything on because i've done it before where i put both three lights on had to take them off then put them back on then take them off it's just better to just put your cluster in see if it works and then go ahead from there so i'm gonna head and put these lights back in um very very simple all you want to do is just make sure that these pins grease them up a little bit so they fall inside the grommets um a bit easier so for example the wd-40 spray it inside just so when you put the grommets when you put the metal pins in they slide right in instead of catching on the edge and then pushing them into the car which is exactly what you don't want if you guys have done that or if you guys take your light off and realize that you have any of these missing i'll go ahead and put a link on ebay to a set of these that you can get two um, at a time which look like this like that very very simple to change just grease them up push them in because i know that this side is missing one that's why i've got a set there now already like look at the difference that looks just so much better insane and then this is the old shit light so <laughs> I'll show you guys what it looks like when you put it in reverse. You'll see what the reverse light looks like. The clutch here. Don't know if you have to have the ignition on. Turn it on anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't look as good on camera. Ah, uh, you can sort of see it. It's literally a bright LED. Like, I can't even look at it. It's actually that bright which is exactly what you want because it lights up everything behind you and i think one of my parking sensors have got has either failed or it's got something in something interfering it because when i put it in reverse it just doesn't switch on the sensors anymore but i'll have a look at that later on okay so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to taking this one out and to get the new one in but already 10 times better okay guys so i've gone ahead got this light out so I've just, this is the grommets I'm on about. So this is the original one. And I've just put this one in now. Uh, what you want to do is just glue the back of the grommet. So here's another one, for example. You want to put glue all on the back of here so that when you put it in, it hopefully res it resists from falling in if if any pressure did come to it so that's glued in now i'm gonna go ahead and let that dry um and then i'll do the same as i did on this side just get some wd-40 spray it on the hole and just uh hopefully the light will just slide in um without any issues at all but uh yeah looking good okay so the same thing as you'll see is um the opposite side to what we've just done will be a bit different so this is the fog light uh, and the fog light bulb is actually different to the other side um but that's literally all that's different other than the obviously the one that i told you guys about before so i'm just going to swap over the ones that are the same and then i'll go ahead and get the pack which we've got here uh, i'm not too sure if i have the link for these I'll go ahead and check my eBay and see if they're still on my purchase history. But most of them are just canvas LED lights and you'll see them literally straight swap and uh, make sure they're canvas so they don't get any errors. Um, and then, uh, yeah. That's good. 
And there we are. Both of them are on. Looks so much better. I'll go ahead and put a before and after picture up now. Ten times better. So much cleaner. Oh, man. Like I said, guys, this is definitely the mod to do for your pre-facelift version of the S3. Um, and I know it, it's absolutely filthy, isn't it? really bad but uh that's probably where the uh why the parkinson's aren't working because it's really so much dirt on them but yeah it's so much better i'll go ahead and leave the link in the description for the lights um and i'll just if i can get the bulb link i'll do that as well and the grommets will be in the description as well um but uh yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i'm gonna go ahead and tidy up now get everything all packed away and yeah, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, see you there.